U.S. geologist reveals how fast-shifting North Magnetic Pole will affect humanity. This is on Sputnik today. Magnetic compass remains an important tool of navigation, even in the era of GPS. But the problem is the needle of a compass is always aligned with the Earth's North Magnetic Pole, which is always in flux. The Magnetic Pole is a slow but steady wanderer. The geologists say it's moving from the Can Canadian Arctic towards Russia, Siberia, at the annual rate of more than 55 kilometers per year, that's about 34 miles every year. 34 miles a year. This shift is caused by convection, a slow rotation of fluid rock and molten metal in the Earth's outer core, and it's the liquid metal that generates our planet's huge magnetic field. Quote, it's the change in speed of the rotation of the different parts of the outer core. That means the movement of the magnetic North Pole is not the same speed through time. This is what Dr. Paul Byrne, the assistant professor at North Carolina State University says, knowing the location of the magnetic pole is crucial to navigation systems containing magnetic compasses. And for this reason, scientists have developed the World Magnetic Model, a representation of Earth's magnetic field, which allows magnetic north to be precisely fixed. An updated version of the model is released every five years, and the next release was scheduled for late 2019, but recent shifts have prompted scientists to roll out the update earlier this month. They reassured that the changes will be relatively minor for the average user and will mostly affect those living or trekking around the high Arctic. The update is also expected to come in handy to militaries, commercial airlines, search and rescue ships and aircraft, NASA and other agencies and groups relying on precision navigation in the high north. According to Dr. Byrne, these maps are used for all kinds of things, including navigation of aircraft, military vehicles, for understanding where people are on Earth. Honestly, this doesn't make a huge difference to people who are not living very close to the pole. It really only affects folks who are really close to the magnetic North Pole. And he adds that navigation apps are going to take on more of this updated magnetic field map. And as a result of that, users won't see any difference themselves using their phones so that's okay, they're good. Earth's magnetic field is acting strange and scientists are not sure why. The magnetic poles are moving quickly, going from Canada towards Siberia, but geologists cannot determine why the change is so sudden and dramatic. On January 15th, scientists from the United States National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, the NGA, and the United Kingdom's Defense Geography Center, DGC, we're set to update the world magnetic model which describes the planet's magnetic field and underlies all modern navigation from the systems that steer ships at sea to Google Maps on smartphones and the current model appeared to be inaccurate, Nature Journal reported. The most recent version of the model was constructed in 2015 and was supposed to last until 2020, but the magnetic field is changing so rapidly that the researchers have to do it now. The error is increasing all the time, says Arnaud Chiliat at Geomagnetist University of Colorado Boulder and the National Ocean and Atmospheric Administration's NOAA's National Centers for Environmental Information. The reason for the shift is found within the Earth. Liquid churning in Earth's core generates most of the magnetic field. The flows tend to change over time, and in 2016 part of the magnetic field temporarily accelerated deep under northern South America and the eastern Pacific Ocean, deep under northern South America and the eastern Pacific Ocean. Satellites like the European Space Agency Swarm Mission track the shift. The World Magnetic Model was in trouble by early 2018 as researchers from NOAA and the British Geological Survey in Edinburgh, Scotland revealed that the model was inaccurate to the point that navigational errors could become possible. The 2016 geomagnetic pulse beneath South America and the motion of the North Magnetic Pole made the situation worse. The North Magnetic Pole has been shifting steadily from the Canadian Arctic towards Siberia for, 50, for, for years, but it's picked up speed from around 15 kilometers per year to around 55 kilometers, that's 34 miles per year in the last few decades. 
The fact that the pole is going fast makes this region more prone to large errors, says Shiliat. Scientists are planning to update the model, as we said. However, it might be problematic since the release of the World Magnetic Model has been postponed until January 30th due to the ongoing U.S. government shutdown. Well, it's, it's now taking place. The key question remains the same, why the magnetic field is changing so dramatically. The possible reasons for the geomagnetic pulses are hydromagnetic waves, hydromagnetic waves arising from deep in the core, and the move of the magnetic pole could be connected with a high-speed jet of liquid iron beneath Canada. Quote, the location of the North Magnetic Pole appears to be governed by two large-scale patches of magnetic field, one beneath Canada and one beneath Siberia. This is what Phil Livermore, a geomagnetist at the University of Leeds, UK, at the American Geophysical Union meeting, noting that the Siberian patch is winning in the competition. Now, a lot of people ask, does that mean that the Earth's magnetic poles are about to flip any time soon? What does this study say? Even though our planet's magnetic field may be shaky, it has recovered from similar states before, scientists say. The last time planet Earth actually reversed polarity was about 800,000 years ago in a cataclysmic process scientists call a geomagnetic reversal. Uh, 800,000 years ago, about, you know, let's remember that about 640,000 years ago, that's when uh, Yellowstone last erupted. And now uh, there must have been a lot of uh, uh, activity, geological activity around that time. However, a new study by a team of University of Liverpool scientists published in Monday's uh, issue of, uh, this, was, this is an article from uh, May of uh, last year, issued from the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, indicates that the current patterns of disturbance of Earth's magnetic field differ from the ones that preceded previous pole reversals. The researchers believe that the current field looks very much like it was around 49,000 years ago when it suffered a notable drop in strength, but no outright flip. The current magnetic north and magnetic south, located very close to their respective poles, have been there since the last reversal that happened about 800,000 years ago. Quote, there has been speculation that we are about to experience magnetic pole reversal or excursion. However, the studying, by studying the two most recent excursion events, we show that neither bear resemblance to the current changes in the geomagnetic field, and therefore it's probably unlike that such an event is about to happen, end quote. Said Richard Holm, he's a professor of geomagnetism at the University of Liverpool. He says, our research suggests instead that the current weakening field will recover without such an extreme event, and therefore is unlikely to reverse, he said. So basically, the conclusion of the research is that we're unlikely to see a pole shift, a pole flip, happening anytime soon. The magnetic field is generated by a molten core of iron, nickel, and other metals deep inside Earth, resulting in huge electrical currents to produce a gigantic field. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation 
with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.